Hi, I'm Josh Mobley, and this is Music Production with Reason 5 and Record 1.5. This tutorial covers a demo song I did for the Propeller Heads called What's the Reason? And in it, you will basically see how we made the song from start to finish. If you're new to Reason and Record, then this tutorial will be a great introduction for you to see how the software works, what the different instruments do, the different effects and the mixer, you know, just a, a well-rounded introduction to the software package. Everybody has their own unique production style, and if you watch this DVD, you're going to pick up some of the techniques that I use to complete a song, and you'll be able to integrate those techniques into your own production style and the way that you're comfortable working. If you're already using Reason to Record and you want to learn more about what the program is capable of doing, then definitely watch it from beginning to end, and I guarantee that you'll pick up some things that you didn't know before. Back to the backpack rapping Came in the air with rap lacking Everybody wanna be cheats with no indies Everybody trying to be mad with no cities East Coast with me West Coast build me up Down South sip the lean Go ahead and fill the cup Mainstream We finna bring it to the place where it started The place where the heart is The place where the artist stay Riding the hardest Across the state lines with no rhyme and abortion Back to walking the walk Talking to talk to talking to y'all Out in the old talk Okay, so I've loaded up an Optigon loop to play along with the track, and I'm just going to run it with the beat real quick and see how it sounds. Yeah, there's something cool there, but uh, I want to make it my own. I'd rather play it than just have a loop playback. So I'm going to take off, enable loop playback, and uh, let me just mess around here for a sec. So I'm going to, you know what, I'm going to put on a pre. And a pre count gives you a four count in uh, before you start recording. And um, yeah, I'm just going to record and see what happens. Lovely. All right, so I'm going to quantize that so I'm going to open up the tool window and it's at 16 I'll keep it at that for now and let's play back and listen sounds like there should be something on that snare on that you know dun, bing Dun, 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 bing, you know, to accentuate it a little bit more. So I'm going to load up another sound, uh, conveniently called ding. And it's going to play up. There we go. So I'm going to record that. So let me quantize that and I'm going to open up the clip editor and I'm going to shorten that. It's just a little too long. Play that back. Still too long. So I'm going to change the snap to um, 1 30 seconds. Move that over. There we go. So now let's listen to it. All right. Okay, so now I want to add another sound, a kind of a similar thing, but more like a an organy type hit. So I'm going to create another Dr. Octorex player and um, go to DVD. Just going to go through this. Sounds good. I like the organ, but I don't like that clunky sound in it. So I'm going to put it on high pass on the filter section and just kind of filter that out. Mm -hmm. 
So I'm going to take off Enable Playback and just going to play that sound in. Let's quantize that. Show tool window. Apply and play back again. Yep, and that's it. All right, so now I want to add a baseline, and you know I'm going to do this a little differently this time. I'm going to go to Show Tools window over here, and I'm going to grab a combinator, just drag it in, and load my Detroit bass. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to record. that and play back sounds good so I'm gonna add another bass sound this time a Thor and we go in here browse and there it goes to one of my favorite programmers stomp who created this patch and I tweaked it a little bit but still basically his patch and uh, I'm gonna record I might tweak that out a little bit later I'll tell you what I could do right now is turn it down a little bit Good. All right, so you see me quantizing everything, but I really want to lock it into the groove of the original beat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this clip, and I'm going to select Get Groove from Clip. And what that's going to do is it's going to take the timing of the MIDI data in this clip, and then I can you know take that and apply it to all the other instruments. So basically, I'm extracting the feel from this drum pattern and applying it to all the other instruments in the arrangement. So I'm going to click on this G right over here. And the groove that I've um, extracted from that clip is now in groove channel number one. So if I go up here and I select A1, and then I just repeat that process for each of the tracks in this song thus far, everything should lock in super tight. So let me pull this back and let me just play this now. So now I'm going to make this thing 8 bars, so I'm going to just shorten it. I'm going to select these, delete them, and then I'm going to select the... You know what? I'm going to do this a little differently. I'm going to grab the razor tool because one of the cool things about it is that you can select everything in the arrangement where you've dragged your razor tool across the top. And I'm going to go back to the cursor. Pulling down option, I'm going to click and drag again, and voila, 8 bars.